Hi, you guys. I hope everybody is doing well today. Today is March 26th of 2024, and I have um, a word that I'm going to share with you. I actually tried to get this word out on Wednesday um, of last week on the 20th, and um, that kind of didn't happen. Um, I've had a little meltdown. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, Jesus, for meltdowns sometimes because when we are weak, he is strong. Hallelujah. And um, in our weakness as well, in our vulnerability, when we're in a, a state of um, just weakness and vulnerable, which is what the Lord actually uses in this word, that we're, vul we're vulnerable right now. It's when he shows up strong. You know, that's when he shows up strong. And so he's close to the brokenhearted. He's, he's close to the brokenhearted. And so praise the Lord. And um, I took that video down, just so you were aware, I took that video down because um, apparently somebody in my fam my husband's family had watched the video and called him um, on uh, Thursday morning, the day after. And um, I guess the procedure that I had mentioned they were not aware of and they kind of freaked out I guess I don't know I don't know the I don't know all I know is my husband says he doesn't want all of his business out on YouTube and so um, which I honor and respect so I pulled that video down because he doesn't want everybody knowing everything that's going on and I you know sometimes I just talk too much <laughs> but that's okay um, hallelujah um, but praise the Lord so um, the Lord did give me a word at the end of that video, which what I which I was gonna say. I he the Holy Spirit was so heavy on me that I could hardly take it. Um, it was the the presence of God was so strong, and a lot of you saw it that um, I could hardly take it physically. Like my physical body was just it was a lot. Praise God, <laughs> Hallelujah. Almighty God, he is so powerful. And when his presence comes on you, sometimes you just, you just, there's been times where I've even, I've even said, I've, I'm like, Lord, what is happening to me? Am I going to die? <laughs> like, because his presence is so strong. His glory is so powerful that sometimes it feels like, okay, if, if uh, I can't take anymore, I'm going to die, like literally. And so, like literally, you feel like you could die. <laughs> so, of course, he's not going to do that, but that's that's what he can do. So, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I wrote down that word that he gave at the end where he was screaming. Holy Spirit was literally, um, it was so bold, so loud and powerful. Um, and um, I wrote down that word. And so I'm going to share that as well. So I'm going to pray and I'm going to give you this word. Um, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for today. Today is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, I thank you that your mercies are new every single morning. I thank you, Lord, that that um, in our weakness, God, you are strong. And I thank you, Father, that um, that you show up in, in our most vulnerable moments and our most hard times father when we're going through things that are just so difficult that seem to us they're not difficult for you and you are so close to the weak you you are close to the brokenhearted father so i thank you i thank you father that all you're doing in the earth today i thank you for what you're doing in and through your children father i ask lord god that you would just touch each one of us in the name of jesus i ask father god that you would fill us up with your hope and your peace that passes all understanding with your grace father god that you give us the grace to do all that you want and need us to do in this hour father god i ask that your boldness and your courage will come upon your people father god in the name of jesus to do exactly what you want and need them to do and say in this hour father god i ask father god that you would just just give us a strength that we've never known. I ask, Father God, that your host just surround us at all times, Father. I cover and apply the blood of Jesus right now to each and every one of whoever's watching this right now and their families. I speak healing and deliverance over them and their families now in the name of Jesus. And I just thank you for it. I thank you, Father, for being here right now. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for using me right now to share this word have your way with this word father in jesus name we love you lord jesus we love you holy spirit and father oh how we love you in jesus name we glorify you 
amen and amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so I've got this word on 3-20-2024 at 11.44 a.m. And this is what he says. It's kind of a long one. So praise the Lord. Um, <clears throat> he says, I want you to know that you are not alone in this battle. I told you time and time again, this is the battle of the ages. All my children are experiencing warfare to some degree. That was all in bold. Some may be more difficult than others, but all of you are going through something. I see every battle and every struggle, and I say, I am in it all. These battles, these attacks from your adversary are all about to end, says the Lord. They are intense, I know, but take courage and know that they are coming to an end. You and most of my children are in a much vulnerable state, and this is why I have said over and over to put on your armor, my armor. Does this mean that the attacks from the enemy will cease at this time? No, this means you get closer to me and stay closer to me than ever before. I know it's hard, daughter. You know you are my precious daughter, and I am ever so near to you. I need you and all of my children to know I am closer to you than ever before. Hallelujah. You know this. Yes, you do. You, my precious girl, feel my presence as often as you want to as I pour out my spirit upon you. Once again, I ask, does it make it the pain, the suffering, the attacks go away? No, it does not. But if you get with me and praise me, if you get with me and let me fill you up to the fullest, it will make it easier. Your faith will rise. You will be consumed with my peace and joy as I have promised. Listen to me, Emily, my sweet girl. It breaks my heart to see you and my beloved children go through all the enemy is throwing at you. It breaks my heart even more when you allow the loser to take captive your thoughts which causes you to lose faith in me and what I am doing. I told you this time would be a faith walk. Have you not seen it? It's time to pull yourself together, stand on me and my promises, and watch what I do. I want you to tell my children, as you continue to contend for my kingdom and my righteousness in the land and in your personal lives, I am Almighty God. I am the Lord Almighty God. Sorry, I am the Lord God Almighty and I never lose a battle. I never lose the battles in bold. I know your battles, my children, seem so great in the natural, but this is when I want and need you to look to me and see in the spiritual realm. I need you to know that the supernatural is on the horizon in a great, great, and great, great realms. Yes, I say to you, all my beautiful, ch I say to you, and all my beautiful children, a reckoning has already begun. I am the great I am, and I will have my way, says the Lord, the living God of Israel. I am the great I am, um, is in bold. As it looks like your lives are quickly falling apart in so many ways, I need you, my bride, my God-fearing remnant people, to trust me like never before. I will take your enemy and all who are with him and completely annihilate them in one breath of mine, says the Lord God, who sits on the throne. Don't think for a second, my children, that I have lost my control of the world that I created with my mouth. Yes, my words. No, I haven't skipped a beat. I am coming for you, my beautiful remnant, Ecclesia, my body who trusts in my name. I am coming to rescue all of you. I am coming to rescue all of you that have fought so long and hard to see yourselves and the world at large free from my enemies and all they have done. I want you, my children, to keep looking, no, searching for me and trusting who I am and what I have promised you. I have promised freedom, recompense, victory, restoration, salvation, deliverance, miracles, signs, and wonders. Yes, families restored, prodigals coming home, a freedom never seen like this in the history of time. It's all written in my word, but so many don't believe even my written word anymore. How sad is this? I tell you, my bride, who are awaiting all my promises, hold fast unto me, the author and finisher of your faith. 
I am coming with your reward in hand. I am coming to set you free. I am coming to show the world who I am and who my faithful children are. Don't be mistaken. You will receive a great, great reward for standing, trusting, and believing all that I have said and all that I will do. You, my chosen people, are in for the greatest times of your lives. As the world seems at a loss, of all things, you, my faithful warriors, will have more than enough. Hallelujah. So I say again to my brilliant soldiers in my army of truth and justice, do not be moved by what you see. It's all coming down and I am coming to set you free from your tyrannical government who think they are in control. Ha, ha, I say, I am laughing at all their plots and schemes against you and the world. I have my plans and they have not changed, says the Lord of hosts. That's in bold. No, my hosts are on the scene and they do not fall. No, they do not grow weary and they do not faint. They mean business and they are in your realms until the job is done. That's all in bold, that whole paragraph. So I say again to my brilliant bride, who and which are under so much weight and heaviness from your adversary, hold on, hold the line and do not be moved or shaken for I am the almighty God in whom you are trusting and I will show you the and the world that I alone and he who sits on the throne laughing at all they intend to do to my people. This is all in bold, this whole paragraph. I will never ever let their plan succeed. So rejoice in me, the cornerstone of your faith, and know I am that I am, and I am coming to set not only my people, but all the captives free. Do you believe it? Hold tight unto my precious hold tight unto me, my precious children, and know nothing, and no one can or will be able to stop what I am about to do. I am your loving father, your advocate, your redeemer, and your friend who sits on the highest throne that no one could ever take away. Stay with me, my darling children, and rely only on me and my written word. Trust all that I am speaking now to my daughter and to all the, my prophets abroad. You, my beautiful children, are in for a surprise of a lifetime I know you've been waiting much, but I also know because I am that I am. It is coming sooner than you think, says the Lord, your God, maker of heaven and earth. In the name of my darling son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And I am coming to set you free. This I promise. So hold fast unto me, says the Lord, and do not be moved. I love you, my strong, beautiful remnant people. And that is the word that I received in my much vulnerable state that I was in on last Wednesday, March 20th. So praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a lot in there. Um, if you want to go back and rewatch it or re, you know, hear it again, go back and do so but there's like there's a lot in there that's just so encouraging so encouraging and um he gave me um right after i received that word shortly after i asked i said do you have a scripture that you want me to share with this word and i heard loud and clear in my spirit isaiah 55 11 i know isaiah 55 11 but i don't know Isaiah 55 11, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I don't know the address. I know what it, what my sister and I were just, were just talking and saying how we're so grateful for the family that we were, that we have and that we were raised in because, um, even though we may not know the addresses of, of, you know, of the word of scripture in the word, um, we know the word and it's, and so praise, praise the Lord for that. But this is Isaiah 55 11, and it says, so also is my word. This is out of the new living, um, translation. Um, so also is my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It shall accomplish all that I want it to. 
and prosper everywhere I send it. So that also goes for, that's just his word. His, his word, everything that's in here, hallelujah, and words that he shares with his people, um, with, you know, we all hear, we all can hear God's voice. That's the thing. He created us to hear his voice. He did. He created us to hear his voice. He, that's, we are, we were here, put here to have a relationship with almighty God. That is, that is our purpose. That is our purpose to have a relationship with our creator, he created us in his image. That's why he came to earth, Jesus, in, in the flesh, came to earth and walked among us and died in the flesh to save us from our sin. To, and so we could have a relationship with Jesus because, because of what Adam and Eve had done. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. I'm, I'm just saying we are created to have a relationship with God and we can all hear his voice. And he wants to speak to each and every one of us. I'm not anything special. And oh, well, I am in his eyes. <laughs> I, am, I am special. So are you. We are all special to our father. Um, and he's our Abba Daddy. And he loves each and every one of us so much. And he's saying that no matter what we're going through, no matter what we're going through right now, the hard times that we are having right now, that we need to trust him in everything. And I know that I said some things last week and I canceled some word curses. Trust me, I did. I was in a pooter pants way, as I would like to say. And um, like I said, you know, he shows up in our, and, and he is weak when we are, when we are weak, he is strong. He is our strength. And so it's funny how sometimes when I'm in that place is where I hear him the loudest. And so if we'll just listen and if we'll just listen and spend that time with him, he will speak, he will speak. And he was speaking loudly. I heard this loudly and he's saying, basically, I'm not the only one going through trials and tribulations and hard times and, um, you know, his kids are being put through the ringer right now. Um, in so many different ways, so many different ways, but it's okay because he's going to show up and show off. These are days of his glory. These are the days where the whole world is about to know that God, almighty God is almighty God, that he is alive and well, and he's sitting on the throne, no matter what it looks like in the, in, in the near future, no matter what it looks like, he is saying, trust him trust him, get with him. No matter what you're going through right now, get with him, spend the time that you spend time with him and he'll fill us up with his peace and his joy. And that's where I fell short. Um, last week is I had, there was like a week that had gone by that I was too busy and I wasn't spending that time. I wasn't spending the time, the quality time that I, that, you know, that I, that we require to be filled with him for him to fill us up. And I had a breakdown. There, there's just, you know, there's so much. I mean, there's more, even more that, you know, I'm not at liberty to share, um, but things, stuff that, um, you know, we're all going through stuff. And so we just have to trust him, trust him. Okay, I'm done with all that. I'm going to share this word that he gave at the end and then I'm, and then I'm done. So praise the Lord. So he, um, I was praying in the spirit a lot in that video though. I was praying in the spirit a lot, which I don't do very often. That is not, um, what I do. That is just not my normal. Um, I pray in the spirit a lot all the time. I'm always praying in the spirit. I'm always praying in, in tongues, um, in my heavenly language, um, throughout the day, every day every day. Um, and when I don't things like last Wednesday happen, <laughs> but hallelujah. Okay. I'm done with all that. But anyway, I'm just saying it's important. It's important to, to just be in communion with the Lord on a regular basis, like daily, 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 all day. If you have to hallelujah. So Holy Spirit fell on me. I prayed in the spirit quite a bit. And then I got this word 
it was broken up. I was crying a lot. So it was kind of like broken up, but he was, he was yelling. He was yelling. Um, a lot of you saw it. But this is what he says. A lot of repeating. He wanted to get it clear apparently. So he says, I will, I will, I will set my people free, says the Lord. You better stop doubting me, says the Lord. I will come. I will come, says the Lord. I will come when you least expect it, says the Lord. I will set my children free. I will set my captives free. I will show the world who I am. I will show the world that I am God and there is no other. I will show the world that I am the most high God and there is no other, says the Lord. So be encouraged. Be encouraged, says God. Be encouraged, says the Lord, because I am coming to set you free, says the Lord Almighty God, who sits on the throne, and there is no other. Just wait, just wait, my children, just wait, my people, for I, 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 the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, God am coming. I am coming. I, 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 I am coming. I am coming. I am coming to set my people free. I am coming to set my people free. My people free. My people free. My children. Oh, my remnant. My ecclesia. My chosen ones. You are about to be set free. Free, says the Lord, says the Lord, almighty God. Hallelujah. He was making his point clear. He is about to come and set us free. He's coming to set us free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And he wants us to be encouraged. And um, that is my job at this time is to encourage you guys with his words and I hope that this encouraged you and just know that no matter what you no matter what's going on in your life no matter where you're at no matter what the circumstances no matter just trust him rely on him go to him go to him in our weakness when we're struggling when we're having a hard time when we're even doubting tell him talk to him about it that's what we're to do talk to him. He already knows our heart. He already knows what we're going through. So we just need to open up, get real with the Lord. He already knows what we're going to do. Do you think that he didn't see that breakdown coming? He knew. He knew what was going to happen on Wednesday. He knew exactly what he knows our, our lives from the end, from the, you know, the, the, he, <laughs> from the end, from the beginning. Um, Sorry, it didn't come out right, but you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, so just, he already knows. So talk to him about it. Talk to him about, you know, what, what, what's going on? You know, like, like I did, I did. I was just like, I was straight up with him on Wednesday. With on Wednesday, I was like, Lord, I'm feeling this and I'm feeling like this and, and it don't feel very good, but this is how I feel right now. And, um, so that's what we have to do. That's what he wants us to do. And he'll come and he'll bring you the peace. And I'm telling you just, you know, the next day or, or even, you know, the last couple of days. And he did say the other day, um, he told me, um, just, I'm just going to share this really quick and then I'm done. But he said to me, um, cause I, I just felt like, like I disappointed him. I felt like I disappointed the Lord just for getting, for kind of being in doubt and for doing and just saying some of the things that I said or which I canceled word curses already. So just <laughs> the words that I spoke, they were negative. They're done. It's they're, they're already done. It's, it's history. So, you know, that those word curses are done, canceled, boom, done. But, but he told me, he said, um, he told me, you are a valiant warrior in my army, is what he said. This is just him and I talking, whatever. And he told me this. And he said, and in a war, in a battle, the warriors will fall. The, the soldiers, they fall, you know, on the battlefield. They fall as they're running their 
you know, they're, they're, they're warring. They're doing what they do. They're warring. They're in war. They're in battle on the battlefields and they fall. They stumble. They fall. But guess what? They get up. They get back up. They pick up their weapons and they continue and they march forward and keep going. And he said, and that's what you're doing. That's what you're going to do. And that's what you're doing. And he says, and it's okay. You just, you know, what does the word say? That we'll get knocked down, but we will get back up. It doesn't matter how many times we fall down or how we, you know, you know, whether it be in faith and doubt, or you just kind of just, whatever it is, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. You fall short of the glory of God. We get, we pick ourselves up, we dust ourselves off and we just keep going. And praise God, you know, that his mercies are new every morning. Thank you, Jesus. That every single time, if we fall down, if we if we fall, no matter it, how, whatever it looks like, you know, um, we have the blood of Jesus, you know, that washes everything away, clean. You repent, you go to God, you ask him for forgiveness or whatever it is, even if it's doubting him, not trusting him enough or just feeling you know, like whatever, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. We got the blood of Jesus that washes us white as snow. He died for our sin. And then he came back to life again this Sunday. Hallelujah. Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> this Sunday. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Okay, I'm done. I hope this blessed you. I hope it encouraged you. And um, be blessed. I love you guys so much. I am praying for you. I thank you for praying for me. That's what we do. We lift each other up. And um, I just love you so much. And I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day.